What if I pop that there? <gasps> Ta -da! That's there, isn't it? I'm in the Costco car park at the moment. We've just got stock doubles of Pepsi. There's a flip flop there. Ignore my flip flop. And we are going to go to um, what do you call it? A retail park. Huh? Retail park. Yeah. We're going to go to the local little retail park, which doesn't know yet that I want to go to next and Home Sense. Um, I'm luring him there on the pretext the true pretext of needing new windscreen wipers for my car from Halfords but yeah then I'm also going to sneak into the other shops and annoy him so that's the plan for today and then we're going to go home and tomorrow we've got a really busy day planned which I'm really excited for I'm going to get my nails done because they're pretty pretty grown out I don't know what I'm going to get done yet I might go for gold I'm going to start on the festive I started the buble this morning so Christmas is definitely on the way so I think it's time for some Christmas nails as well. Oh yeah, and that's gonna do. What I'm wearing today, I forgot to do this in my last week's vlog, so what I'm wearing today, I am wearing this spotty crop top from Primark and a skirt, which is all ridden up now because I'm sitting down, this spotty skirt from Dorothy Perkins and this like big duffel Paddington bear, whoa my face, Paddington bear coat from Primark as well, it took me, I went to about five different Primarks to find this in my size, finally found it in Manchester, best Primark in the world, Rich is back, gonna eat my hot dog and then head off, yeah. I just got in from having my nails done, which I'll show you in a sec. And I've got a parcel here, which I can't open because I've just got my nails done. So, Rich is going to do it for me. I know what's in here. This isn't the really exciting thing. I mean, this is pretty bloody exciting, don't get me wrong. Look at that, that's bigger than I thought. It's a handbag. It's from Skinny Dip at ASOS. I think it's an exclusive to ASOS though, so I can't buy it. And then, it's bigger than I thought, I thought it was going to be teeny tiny. I've got loads of stuff in there. Okay, I've got like icicle nails. I wanted to get gold and silver, but it wasn't really working with the gold polish that they had. So I had to get silver instead, like icicle nails. And then I'm going to go back on the 17th of December to get Christmas nails. Nothing says Christmas like overpriced stolen. Yum, yum, yum. We got some camembert in Marks and Spencer's, which is probably the most middle class thing I have ever done in my life. I literally can't help think of anything more middle class I've ever done. Can you? Nope. I think that's it. So now we're going to have. Oh, God, look at it though. Look at it. Mm, mm, oh. Mmm, yeah, that's good. And we got some French bread and everything. Going the whole hog. Yesterday, my phone kept running out of storage and it was driving me absolutely nuts. I couldn't work out what was going on. Um, so I put a tweet like, what's going on? I can't film anything. I've deleted a thousand photos and videos and I've still got zero bytes left. And somebody was like, have you checked your recently deleted folder? And I had no idea there was even a recently deleted folder. So everything I'd ever deleted was in there, um, which was why I kept having problems filming, funnily enough. So I deleted that and now I thought I'd finish off my Winchester bit. So I look like this at the moment. This is my very beautiful work face. I know, stunning. But I wanted to show you what I got yesterday. I showed you my nails, didn't I? Ooh, winter nails. Ignore my towels. I discovered yesterday that every single post I've ever written about Winchester Christmas Market, which is every year I've had the blog, as in this one will be the fourth. So I got one for 2012, one for 2013, one for 2014. And every single one was published on the 23rd of December. So I always go like at the end of December. And this year I thought, because I'm 
part time at work now, and Rich had to have, take some time off work, and he had his theory test, which he passed, by the way. I figured we'd take that day to go down nice and early and get everything off to a good start, but unfortunately, it just felt a little bit wrong. And right now, I can smell those bloody pomanders, and it's not Christmas. Um, so I bought a few things. I went to Primark first, but I'll show you that in a minute. This is something I always, always buy in Winchester. It kind of makes Christmas. It's not Christmas until I've got this. Unfortunately, because it's November, it's just wrong. And it's these little pomander um, decoration things. And they smell so good. Mmm. Now the thing is, because I always get these, and they have garlands and wreaths. I keep them for one year, they they stay alright, see how they're like dried fruit. So they stay alright for one year and then they sort of start losing their fragrance. So every year I put on my tree and I see what needs to be replaced, and when I go to Winchester I replace it. This year, no tree. Obviously, it's only November. A, it felt really weird smelling this when I don't even feel that Christmassy really and B I didn't know what I needed to replace so I just got three of these and I might go back at some point there's a the coca-cola trucks coming on the 17th so I might go back there anyway so I got some of them and I got one of these big overpriced marshmallow things I got the after eight one I actually bought two because Rich squashed the first one, so I had to buy another one and I've just thrown it off the sofa. What if I pop that there? <gasps> Ta -da! That's better, isn't it? So I also went to Primark and I went a little bit, not actually, it wasn't too bad, was I? It's all ugly Christmas stuff. Oh, apart from, apart from this. Oh, they're so, these are better than my white earmuffs, I've got some white ones. I bought from accessories for like eight quid and these were two pounds and these are so much nicer and they had black and white ones I might go back and get the white ones and they're really soft and fluffy and they've really got a thin band across the top whereas my white ones are really chunky one. right anyway so on the 18th of December it's Christmas jumper day also happens to be the last day of term we always do Christmas jumper day at work and I like to go a little bit overboard so this year to outdo all my previous years, apart from last year, I don't think I was there, I got this. This is a Christmas jumper dress. And it's got Belle, it's an elf one. You can get Father Christmas ones as well, but I liked the elf one. It's got things, and even better, it has got a hood as well. Ah! They did have some slippers, but in the Manchester one, when I was in Manchester a couple of weeks ago, they had red and white stripy elf slippers with pointy toes, and I really liked them, but in Primark in Manchester, in Winchester, they only had green ones that I didn't like so much, so I'm going to look out for the red ones. Then I got this, which is the ugliest Christmas cardigan ever, but it's got like sequins and things, see? This is a sequin here, this, uh... So it's really ugly, but I love it. And I couldn't decide between the little elf clip, which I think I've left upstairs, or no, it was a yeah, it was a little elf clip, wasn't it? Was it the scrunchies? Did I get the scrunchies? No, it was the elf clip. Couldn't decide between the elf clip or these or this, so I got this. And I will probably wear it with my Christmas shoes if I don't get the slippers oh yeah which by the way these turned up today oh they're so tacky and disgusting and I love them they're from ASOS to go with my Christmas tree bag oh yeah and then on the way home oh, we went to Marks and Spencer's because I wanted some Christmas cards ostensibly so I have got 
124 Christmas cards. <laughs> you never know when you need Christmas cards. Oh no, wait, no, I haven't. Not that, not quite that many. 40. 84 Christmas cards. I've got 84 Christmas cards. So I've got these ones. These ones. These ones. And these are really pretty, like little vintage inspired ones. Which are cute. And I got an advent calendar. I got Where's Wally this year. I haven't found him yet. I'm just going to wait every day. I'm just going to look at my one box, see if he's there. We got this for the top of our Christmas tree because we've got a really heavy gold star like a metal star that goes on top and it always weighs down the christmas tree and i don't like it anyway it's too harsh so we got this instead which it, 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 that's actually it which is really pretty but it doesn't match my tree at all so we're gonna have it that way it's just like a little padded one which is nice and it was buy one get one free no it was it was buy two get one free on a bunch of christmas malarkey so i got this really lovely christmas candle which smells Oh, this is just... My grandma used to get this every year from Marks and Spencer's. It's mandarin, clove and cinnamon. There are so many different Christmas fragrances and I've never quite found one that's like proper Christmas for me. And that's because this is what it is. It's the smell of my grandma's house at Christmas. This is it. Because she used to use... She used to use this. Which is the mandarin, clove and cinnamon room spray. Exactly the same, but just... A spray instead spicy cinnamon peppery cloves nutmeg and sweet mandarin it's i'm going to have to buy it every year and then rich bought me a couple of presents he got me this candle we basically bought all the candles in lots of places. candle it's in this little white ceramic pot see and it's got a little bear lid and i thought that could... i actually like the pot more than the candle I mean, the candle's alright. It's like winter scented. Oh no, it's like. It's like apples. And also this one, because they had loads of offers on for Black Friday. So this was on my Christmas list actually. And it was £6, reduced to £3. It was only half price. So I thought we'd get one. And this is terrible. I, it, I'm glad it was only £3. I don't actually like the scent all that much. It's ginger and grapefruit it's nice it is nice it's just not my sort of scent i like sweet fruity and sometimes spicy and this is more fresh and zingy it's quite it's a bit more masculine but i just really like the pot look at that and i even like the box i'm gonna keep the box just because that's pretty and that was it that was all we bought so tomorrow we are going to Portsmouth to go to the Victorian Festival of Christmas which we have been intending to go to every single year since the year we met 2008 for some reason one reason or another we've never been able to do it so tomorrow so I was like this year I was like that's it we're going don't do anything on that day I will kill you and I really hope it's good because if it's crap I'm gonna be really annoyed that I've waited like eight years for this so wish me luck. managed to get seats because we came here just before it started raining and now loads of people are coming in and I feel really smug because I managed to get a seat and it's rammed. So, rammed. 
What chance do they have, ladies and gentlemen? What chance do they have? I will be the judge. Silence, in court. You are hereby charged with both wearing nearly as ridiculous a headgear as I am. victory just started tipping it down good timing all round I say oh it is low this is a really low ceiling victory <laughs> oh how do I get around here <laughs> Forgive me, you lie. 